We gotta be willing to transition. Okay, all of a sudden you are you are making okay six figures, and then all of a sudden now you are transitioned to now making about twenty or thirty thousand. Woo! Somebody say whoop there it is. That is a major trend. Come on, church. All of a sudden, okay, you're used to driving. Uh, maybe something nice. Maybe Lexus. I don't know. Maybe, maybe Bentley. And now you're transitioned to a Ford. Nothing is wrong with the Ford. Amen. At least it's on the road to what they transition. Uh, okay, maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, you, 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 maybe your child. Here it is. Uh, you're, you're used to your child having certain grades. Uh, and then all of a sudden, you see a transitional moment uh, that happens in their life. And you know something uh, has came in. Uh, someone say, trend. We look at every one of us goes through trans. Let's run to First Kings. Run to First Kings nineteen for me. Funny enough, when we look at Judges six, Gideon is in a wine press. He's a transitional state, a transitional place. Now we're gonna see another type of transition. But it's so funny, this one, Elisha didn't even know what was coming. I decree and I declare what's coming to you is going to be what's unexpected, but it's going to be glorious. It's going to be beautiful. In the name of Jesus, we decree and declare, we speak what we're asking. You have a law of attraction, call your mouth. And so you call it to your mouth. Come on, you put your mouth. See, when people put their mouth on you, you got to be able to put your mouth and reverse that thing. And call it to be, even though it's not in the name of Jesus. There's some things that God has called you to be. He has called you to be it, even when it doesn't look like it's supposed to be. But I am in trend. First Kings 19, starting from verse, I'm going to start reading from verse 13. And it was so that when, are we there, church? Are we there? Yes. Uh-huh. It was so that when Elijah heard it, that he wrapped his face in his mantle. He went out and stood at the entering of the cave. See, a lot of times when we're in transition, we run into a cave. We want to be isolated. We don't want to connect with any. But if we're part of the grapevine, we have to stay connected. Someone say stay connected. Someone say stay connected. The enemy has done well with trying to make sure keep the church disconnected. But we are of one father, one faith, one hope, and one baptism. Someone say stay connected. And it was so that when Elijah heard it, that he wrapped his face in his mantle and went up and stood at the entering of the cave and behold there came a voice of him and said what are you doing here Elijah and he said I have been very jealous for the Lord of hosts because the children of Israel has forsaken that covenant thrown down thy altars and slain the prophets with the sword I even I only we're not the only one we're not the only one that has gone through loss not the only one that has gone through a divorce. Not the only one that has gone through a hurting process, a hurting moment. Not the only one has been betrayed. Not the only one has been attacked. Someone said, not the only one. Not the only one. But here we see Elijah is saying, well, I'm the only one left. They've all done that. And I'm the only one standing. Listen, we're not the only one standing. There's someone that is standing in the same fire. That same fire that was supposed to destroy them is the same fire that's their process. They transitioned because of the fire. They came out better because of the fire. They came through the fire. Come on, church. It's not supposed to stop. I had to talk to myself so many times. How many of you have had to talk to yourself? And you talk to yourself again and again and again and again and Come on, church. You gotta keep speaking to yourself because the enemy has a big old mouth. But death is swallowed up in victory. Oh, death, where is your sting? Oh, grave, where is your victory? The more I speak, the stronger it gets. The less I open. Listen, you don't got to feel it in order to speak it. My God. But listen, when the enemy comes and speaks something contrary, you gotta make sure that that thing doesn't seep into your spirit. You gotta make sure it doesn't get into your bones because then it becomes spiritual poison. Oh, I'm still loving that word, Pastor. Oh my God. He says, I'm the only one left. You're not 
another one and say, 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 say with me. Say, I'm not the only one. Come on. Say, I'm not the only one in this. Say, I'm not the only one going through this. I'm not the only one experiencing this. There are those that are waiting for you and me to come through. As a matter of fact, the enemy is sitting there saying, I wonder how she's going to react now. That I'm going to throw this out. I wonder how he's going to process this when he finds out you stand and have it all to. He wasn't standing. Elijah said, I, I'm the only one. Yes. He says, I'm yes. the Even if you're the only one left, you still will not bow. Come yes. on. That's yes. right. Even if you're the only one left, you will still not compromise your character. Come on, church. Even if you're the only one, you're still not going to sleep with her. Come on, church. She's not worth it, baby. She, listen, as fine as she is, her butts, her thighs, whatever you think, uh, listen, it all goes south. Uh, a woman of integrity will stand uh, in the name of Jesus. A woman, come on, church. Uh, and there's a woman of integrity, uh, a woman of grace. Uh, there's some things uh, that you cannot cause. Uh, there's some people that will not compromise anything. Though you slay me, yet will I. Do I got some yets up in here? Do I got some yets up in here? Yet I don't feel it, but I'm still going to stand in it. Yet it's not looking, it's not going the way it should, but I'm going to still speak life. Yet I see the document, and I know what the document is saying, but I'm going to release my word because it's still a transitional moment. Yes. I even I am the only one left. They seek my life to take it away. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, lives will not be lost prematurely. Amen. In the name of Jesus, there'll be no premature death in life empowerment deliverance ministry. There'll be no premature death in life empowerment deliverance ministry. We decree life. We decree the Zoe life. We decree the abundant life. Wherever you watch me, wherever you may be clients across this video, there'll be no premature death. In the name of Jesus, he said, I am the only one. Listen, God said, I saw the hear you, Holy Ghost. Call you when you're going through the difficult place to stand in the gap for someone else. Yes, yes. That denotes the level of your authority. Where you don't look at what you in, but you can now be a midwife for someone else that's going through. Oh my God, Deacon, as he says, I'm the only one that's left. Are you being fed this morning? Yes. yes. Someone said transition. Transition. Verse 50 says, and the Lord said, He says, Go and return your way. To the wilderness of Damascus. He says, listen, I, I asked you this three times. And you keep telling me the same thing again and again. So, so see, one thing about the transitional process. And I said this to the people on Wednesday. We have to prepare. We got to be careful that we don't transition ourselves out of the blessing. That we don't transition ourselves out of the process. Out of the, of the release. Out of the glory. We Listen, listen, it was not enough time. God says, because you are not listening. I keep asking you the same question. I tested you again and again. You keep failing it. He says, go, I'm going to shift you out. Our transition. I decree and declare that you will not, you'll be transitioned into and not transition out of. I'll be transitioned into and not out of. Stay with me. I'll be transitioned into and not what? Out of. I'll be transitioned into and not out of. I'm transitioning. This is the ninth month. Huh? And so this is the month of birthing. Huh? And so that which I have in my spirit, man, huh? there must be a place of birthing. Huh? In the name of Jesus, God is called all huh? oh, to give birth. Huh? There is a place huh? where you and I go through the pressing. Huh? But at the same time, it's a place of birthing. Huh? Have you ever been in this two places at the same time? You're high and you're low at the same time. It's working in one place and it's not working the other. what? Say it again, evangelist. It's not working the other. I see you with me, evangelist. My God, you're you're in a place of in between. You're excited about this, and, 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 and let me tell you something. It's so easy for us to look at what's not working. Hello, somebody, and and that be the symbol that we focus on. We look to the hills from whence coming our our help comes from the. Come on, church. And so we got to we gotta make sure that we're not, we're transitioning into and not out. He said, listen, I want you to go. 
He says, I need you to go. And he says, and when you go, when you go, you're going to anoint Hezekiah to be king over Syria. He says, I'm shifting the anointing. He said, I decree and I declare that where you are, you shifted it to the right place. God bless you too, man of God, that came in here. I said, God, open the door and let someone walk in today. That was my prayer in the name of Jesus. And even if it was water, but I saw two. I decree a double release in this place. A double release in this house. A double release in the name of Jesus. Somebody say, double. double. I decree the anointing has shifted in the name of Jesus. And it has found you. In the name of Jesus, it has been transitional. You are in a place of transitioning, and you didn't even know what was coming. God says, What's gonna come is gonna shift you into what He has intended in the name of Jesus. It's gonna shift this place, it's gonna shift God's people. Someone say, Shift, because in the transition, there's a shift that takes place. Ah, there's a, there's a shift. I'm being shifted into it, Elijah. I'm being shifted into it, honey. I'm being shifted. I don't even want to go. And sometimes God will have to make us. He'll have to move us in the what shift. Sometimes I was not prepared to move yet. But God says, now is the time. He says, now is the time. I'm going to move you into the. Somebody said, move. When you come, I want you to anoint as a zeal to be king over Syria. Jehu, the son of Nimshai, shall thou anoint, somebody say anoint. In the transitional process, your anointing increases and not decreases. Come on, in the transitional process, your anointing increases. When Christ, listen up, listen, in the, think about the transition of Christ leaves uh, the glory and the corridors, the splendor of heaven, and he comes and he transitions into an earthen vessel, uh, into an earthen flesh. Uh, he puts on the robe of flesh. Uh, then he transitions himself again uh, into the garden of Gethsemane. Uh, my God, he said, my Lord. Uh, oh my God, he said, can this thing be passed? Uh, God says, no. Uh, Pushing you, there's a place I gotta get you to. He transitions now onto the cross. He transitions into the grave. He transitions out of the grave, and he transitions back into the place of what God really originally intended. Hallelujah. Someone say transition. Transition. He transitions. God took. He looks at Elijah. He says, "Listen, I'm getting ready to anoint." Yes, Lord Jesus. He says, "I'm getting ready to Lord anoint Jesus. princess again." Hallelujah. Getting ready to anoint Amari again. Thank you, Jesus. He says, I'm getting ready to anoint Brittany again. Lord. He says, I want you to lay hands and anoint Justin again. Yes. He says, I want you to lay hands. When the prophet lay hands, someone says shift. shift. There's a transference in the transition. Yes. There's a transference. Fathers, I never forget when my father laid his hands on me. My, my mother was the one who raised. She struggled with five of us. My father was never there. But I love my daddy. And I understood. Now, I'm going to be honest. I didn't understand when I was younger. Yes. Hello, church. Yes. I understood when I was Older. more mature because I was still young. <laughs> when my father put his hands on me, everything shifted. I was no longer broken and desperate for the presence of a guy. I, I felt validated for the first time. And it's not like my mother never validated me, she did. Come on, church. Yes. But for that first time, yes. our men are so vital. Yes. Our women are so vital. When my father laid hands on me, Everything in me got up. I felt breath come back. And then he says, girl, you know I love you. Because my daddy doesn't keep long conversation. He said, girl, you know I love you. I felt like I was in a place of pressing for so long. So you just imagine individuals who are in a place. You have a father. When the biological father is not there, there is a heavenly one church father. So there was a shifting that took place. When you read this message, and I'm, here it is, the prophet is now getting ready to lay hands on his son, and he doesn't even know that that's going to be his son. He's going to lay hands on the next generation. He's going to lay hands on the one that's coming after.
to someone say transition. transition. Someone say transition. transition. God looks for me. My, my father laid hands on me. I said, okay, Lord, I, I know now what I'm believing you for. Still made mistakes, yes. but I felt whole. Come on, church. Someone say transition. In the transitional process, you're going to feel sometimes empty. You're going to feel sometimes unfulfilled. But somebody say go through it. Go through. Someone said go through it. He says in verse 16 and verse 19, And Jehu, son of Nimshai, thou shalt anoint to be king over Israel. And Elijah, the son of Shephatha, the Abalahova, he said, Thou shalt anoint to, to be prophet in thy room. Abel, Metholaba, he said, I want you to anoint him to be in your room. And the names are long. Verse 17, And it shall come to pass that him that escaped the sword of Halazil shall Jehu slay. And him that escaped from the sword of Jehu shall Elijah. Elisha slay, yet I have left me 7,000 that have not bowed their knees to more for a pair, and every mouth has kissed him. When you read a little bit later on, the prophet just throws and throws his mantle. Elisha didn't even see it coming, but there was a shift within the ship. He had to make a decision. Listen, every decision, oh my God, God and the Queen of the Clare, every decision, raise your hand. Raise your hand. Every decision. Talk to the Lord. Every decision. Every decision is going to be for the promotion and for the greater. Even when, the, even if the decision brings pain, it'll be for the promotion. It'll be for the greater. It'll be for the promotion and for the greater. In the name of Jesus, say my decisions will bring God glory. Say my decisions in my transition will bring God glory. The Bible says that when he throws his mantle, Elisha has to now transition. He has to leave what he's familiar with, and now he has to connect to what he's never done before. He tells the prophet, listen, can I go and I kiss my mother and my father? And the prophet looks at him and says, what does it have to do with me? He does not make his mind up low. Listen, in the transition, we got to be willing to make up our mind and then stick with what we have. We cannot afford to vacillate in the transition. In the wine press, I'm getting ready to close. I will pick this up next week if the Lord gives me the liberty to. In the wine press, Gideon is in the place of transition. And Gideon doesn't know that God has sent an angel because God sees something on him. God says, you've been in that place so long, now I want you to get up out of it. You've been in that place of in between long enough and you've served your time there. Oh my God, you served your time there. I don't want you to stay there anymore. Listen, I have more for you. I have greater for you. Eyes have not seen and ears have not heard. This is not your end, Gideon. There's a place where I have brought you. There's a place where you have to be fulfilled. There's a place where now I'm going to lift you. You've been down for so long and no one knew that you were there. But I knew that you were there and I've come to release you. I've come to lift come to lift you. In the transitional place is a place of lifting. Yes. Yes. It's a place I was listening to Dr. Martin Luther King and he says I look to see that my children will not be judged by the color of their skin but by the content of their character. He says I may not see the promised land. He says but I will get there. It's a place where you and I are lifted. Someone say transition. transition. Someone say transition. transition. The crushing process is for God's glory. God said, I will allow it to crush you. And then when they think that it is done, when you think that I'm finished, I've just now begun with something new. This is a month of birthing. Someone said, I'm birthing something new. Stand to your feet. Someone said, I'm birthing something new. Someone said, I'm birthing something new. So somebody said, new wine is coming. Come on, somebody said, new wine. So God released a new wine. The new wine in transition. New wine, I promise I'll continue with it. Somebody said, new wine in transition. There's a new wine that.